what is going on everybody back at it again with the new video so um, I'm here talking about the impact on IMPP and so I traded this twice in one week um, so this was maybe on uh, was this on Monday yeah Monday yeah the 7th and so we could look at it here um, so I bought it on the come up right here where I put it uh, where I put this um this a trend line right here um, I bought it right here at uh, 550 and I sold at 620 uh, um, this would have been more ideally to hold maybe around uh, 686 ish 680 and then maximum sold you know around 7 780 or possibly I think the highest it went was oh yeah 80801 um, um, or even around you know around here at 815 or I could have held overnight and then sold um, right here right at the open um, so this is right this what you're looking at is a two minute uh, three-day chart and so um, it did you did have a couple times to buy this so you could have bought right here at uh, 595 on that Monday um, sold around uh, if you would have hold it right here at like 785 for about 31 percent of upside and even again you could have bought where I sold and then sold right here at 805 for around 30 uh, 30 percent of upside and even over here too um, uh, which is 586 sold around 805 and then maximum potential right here at uh, 466 sold maybe around 806 that would have been 72 percent of upside so that's an amazing trade right there and um that following day um you can see after market it starts to like consolidate um people think it's gonna probably bounce up but i i felt like a lot of people were trying to get out because they knew it wasn't um it was just very indec indecisive and so this is oil and gas stock and so um, market opens uh, or pre-market and it seems to be fading down and then right around it see it starts to like fight a little bit so it's deciding where it wants to go if it wants to keep on pushing up but then it decides to just keep pushing down and then um, keeps going down keeps going down and then it pops right there and then pre uh, pre market you know goes goes crazy you know <laughs> um, so around that five six twenty four um, at 925 right so that's 48 percent of upside right there and then all day Tuesday um, just downtrends hard right so 40 percent down pushes back up around 7 11 ish then back right down all the way to 391 for 45 percent down and then it starts to surf back up popping it up around 30 percent back up and then it's just just gradual downtrend right here um that that nice subtle push down and so after hours um starts to push back up around 48 percent back up uh throughout that whole after market and then eventually just again surfs back down and then catches a good wave right here popping back up and then it starts to rattle right here up and down and then it goes back down like it just shifts back all the way down breaking this low right here and then this is Wednesday um, I didn't pay much attention on Wednesday uh, I felt like it wasn't very I think Wednesday was a pretty day to just like chill out so yes that was yesterday and I'm recording this on uh, March 10th of 2022 and so or you had a, a good amount if you would have bought it right at the open you would have had a nice dollar 30 of upside and then again it just it gradually is downtrend I mean it I felt like it just didn't know where it was going on Wednesday um, and so I didn't touch it and so I didn't even play the market yesterday at all and so after hours I felt like it was just it was just deciding everyone was just I don't know felt like it was just a chill day yesterday but then um, market opens today and it I felt like it was gonna keep popping up and so I did decide to play it today um, I could have played this way better today 
um, I felt like I got in a little too early in a two two. Um, no, I felt like I got in right in the middle. Um, let's see if we could look at this a little bit better. Um, you know, this is not as good as uh, E Trade. I really miss E Trade. The reason why I don't use E Trade anymore is because um, I forgot why. But um, here we could look at it right here. So I bought in at five ninety nine. Um, right in the middle, um, in between right here. I bought it right in the, in the middle of 599. So a little right up here. Um, what I should have done is maybe catch it like around five, uh, right when it opened, it dropped down all the way to like, what was the lowest and went, um, 551. So I should have got it around 560. That would have been about. Uh, was that 560 and sold around where I bought so about six seven percent of upside I mean it wouldn't it would not have been an ideal trade but again looking at it right now that would have been the best opportunity to get it in there and so um, yeah I mean that that was my two trades for this week um, I don't know how um, IMPP is going to be playing for the rest of the day um, it could be good, it could be bad. I mean, just be cautious of your risk. So, uh, the other one, um, which was uh, on Monday where I, where I played it. Um, so I, I profit this one. I forgot. I don't know if it was twenty five dollars or thirty bucks. Um, either or, I'm still up on this. So I I told myself I wanted a risk on this one over here. I wanted to risk about fifteen dollars, and I made about thirty or twenty-five bucks. And then on this one again, I, I was going on the mindset of, of if I lose fifteen bucks, I'm okay with it. Um, again, I wanted it to break out this level right here at six twenty, and then maybe possibly go reach up to the sevens, and that's where I thought it, it was going to that direction. I thought it was going to break this uh, yesterday's day high, and uh. The day before yesterday's after hours high so right around here um, and so that's where I thought it was heading and you know my thesis was wrong and so um, and I sold where I needed to because I didn't get you know I didn't stay I wasn't stubborn on losing because I lost so many times where I'm like okay I'm not gonna risk one trade um, ruin my whole week right so now as do as of doing this for two years I'm starting to realize that sticking to your risk and your reward is the best plan you could stick to because you have control of that um, and that's the only thing you could you could hold on to right so don't let your ego um, tell tell itself that you need to hold on to it to make some money right so you're gonna you're gonna lose you're gonna win um, you wanna make more than what you lose right and so that that's the mindset you want to have um, and so again don't let your ego get in the way of your potential to become the best potential trader you could be and so again I'm gonna say that again don't let your ego block you from being the best trader you could be right so again you always want to have the mindset of what can I learn here what can other traders teach me and you know experienced traders could teach me and you know it's not all rainbows and sunshines it's it's the grind you know um and so i really hope you guys do enjoy the, enjoy this video and if you guys want to see more videos um breaking down trades like this or if you want to see other um videos on other tickers please let me know and um i don't know how impp is going to do for the rest of the day it's currently 904 a.m um central time and so uh, I could predict what it's gonna do, but again, this is my own prediction, right? This is not there's no legal advice or anything, no no trader advice, but um, what I think it's gonna do is probably gonna maybe touch low uh, right here at four high high uh, high high fours right here around four nineties, and then eventually probably bounce back up where it's at right now, and then maybe go up to the 480s ish and then eventually this is just gonna fade and go back to where it came from right so this was even even this was trading around what um, 
like this was a penny stock right and so um, let's look at it right so this is not a company you want to invest all your money into right so um, let's look at that yeah so you could look at this a couple months ago no one was talking about this right and so you eventually it starts to run up and break this day high um what is this the eighth right and so and that and that's when it was just fading all the way down right it gapped up and then it fades all the way down and so guys i really appreciate it you know subscribe like comment what you want to learn and then comment if you did learn on something on this video so again if you watched it all the way to the end please comment this don't let your ego get in the way of you becoming the best trader you could be all right guys peace out